Welcome to Bismart Together. I mainly focus on Power Query and Excel. If you new, please subscribe and turn on the notification. Also, feel free to drop a comment to give feedback, ask questions or let me know if there are any topics you are interested in. Today, I want to show you how some basic text value manipulation techniques and value extraction. Here are the three sample data I will be using in this video. There are quite many text functions available. Text length function to get the length of a text value. Text insert and text remove functions to insert or remove characters into or from the text values. Text clean, lower, proper, upper and trim functions can be used to clean and transform the text values. Let us hop into our first sample data. We have inconsistent text format and consist of both text and number. Add a custom column and name it text lower. The text lower function converts the text values into lowercase. Here is the outcome, and all the text is now in lowercase. Add another custom column and name it text upper. The text upper function converts the text values into uppercase. Here is the outcome, and all the text is now in lowercase. Move on and add another custom column and name it text proper. The text proper function converts the first character of the text values into uppercase and the remainder characters into lowercase. Here is the outcome. Two more text functions before we move over to the next sample data set. Add a custom column and name it text remove number. Unlike the previous functions, the text remove function has two mandatory arguments. The first argument is the text values. If you see the argument say any, which means the input is a list, and we need to specify single or multiple characters to be removed from the text values. In this case, a list of numbers 1 to 9. We now have the numbers removed from the text values. Now add the last custom column and name it text remove text. Same function as the previous example. This time, we want to create a list of lowercase and uppercase a to z for the second argument. We now have all the letters removed from the text values. Those are some basic text value manipulation examples. Let's move over to a slightly complicated example. Say we have a commentary column and want to extract all the project IDs from the commentary. Add a custom step and replace the highlighted curd with an empty list. The project ID is the digits, so we want to create a list of numbers from 100 to 999. We need the list transform function to help us to convert the numbers into text. Remember to name the step to project ID. Add another custom step and replace the highlighted curd with referencing to the source step. Let's manually update the step with the table add column function, name the column split text by any delimiter. We want to use the splitter split text by any delimiter function, and the delimiters are a space, a forward slash, and a full stop. Input is the commentary column. Let's preview the output. The commentary is now split into a list. We need the project ID, but all the project ID format is inconsistent. Add a custom column and name it list transform. We want only to extract the three digit ID as that is the only consistent information, so we can use the text and functions to extract the last three characters. Preview the output. You should see only three digit project ID. Add another custom column and name it list intersect. We want to use the list intersect function to extract the project ID. The first list is from the list transform column and the second is the project ID list, the list of 100 to 999. Preview the output. Add the last column and name it project ID. We want to use the list transform function to add the word project before the project ID. Quickly preview the output. Go and edit the formula. We want to add the text combine function to combine the list as we have more than one project IDs. Here we go. Awesome outcome. Let's move over to our last example. 
We have a table of contents, and we want to have each item properly indent. Add a custom column, and name it outline level. We want to use the text before delimiters to extract the multi-level numbering. We now have the numbering. Return to the formula. Use the text length function to count the length. We now have the outline level. Add another column and name it indented table of contents. We want to use the text pad start in this case. The second argument is the total number of characters, including the indent spaces, so we need the text length of the table of contents plus the outline level and minus 2. We minus 2 because we don't want to indent the first level. Here we go. The table of contents is now properly indented. Thank you for watching, and I hope you find this video helpful. Please don't forget to click like if you like the video.